What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about skill-based matchmaking in Modern Warfare 3 and how finally we got a little bit of information from the Call of Duty team about skill-based matchmaking really for the first time. Um, the only people that I can really remember talking about skill-based matchmaking in recent years has been former employees of Activision or you know one of the different Call of Duty development teams. But now we really have some information and I'm really glad that they're finally getting a little bit more transparent about this, but we're going to kind of have to wait and see how this works out, you know, down the line. Is this going to continue or is it going to be always kind of these PR statements that's really never going to give us any concrete information? But overall, I find it interesting that we're finally getting some info considering recently Sledgehammer held that kind of Ask Us Anything AMA and one of the biggest questions was skill-based matchmaking, and that was one of the biggest questions that got avoided. They answered everything else but that. And this could be kind of, you know, from that, they're wanting to go ahead and maybe just put out a, a statement instead of just answering individuals' questions, just kind of put out their own statements. But first of all, I will read you the statement, then I'll kind of tell you exactly my thoughts about this. We know there is a lot of interest in the matchmaking experience, especially around how skill contributes to how lobbies and matches are put together. Nothing is more important to us than experience. Uh, the experience players have with the game, and matchmaking is a big part of that. We've been working on the matchmaking system for well over 10 years. As we all know, um, skill-based matchmaking has been in COD for a long, long time. Uh, this was a thing that was really uh, added into like Halo 2 and Halo 3 back in the day. So skill-based matchmaking has been a part of Call of Duty for a really long time. It's just really been ramped up, in my opinion, since about COD 2019. And this year, Modern Warfare 3, it has ramped up a lot. We've been working on matchmaking system, like I said, for well over 10 years, and we continue to spend a ton of time and energy on improving the process. This involves people working at our Call of Duty studios and back-end service teams at DemonWare and other groups like our Player Insight team. It's a large effort that we've worked on for many years, and our approach combines latency, search time, skill, along with many other factors to try to find the best match experience for you. Talking about this topic in detail can be hard, and we have spent we haven't spent time to pull together all of our work to share with you. We we'll share with you our insights and improvements over the many years. We're looking forward to doing that in the coming weeks after season one launches, and we'll also make it a part of our ongoing discussion with the community. And of course, it's just kind of posted by the Call of Duty team. I think this is great to hear. But the one thing that they say in this that, like I said, kind of sounds like a, a, a PR answer, you know, just an answer that you would get, just kind of a blanket answer, is when they said, uh, you know, their effort, they have worked on it for many years, and their approach combines latency, search time, and skill. Latency is listed first, and I do not really feel like that is the case. Now, do I always have horrible latency matches? No, definitely not. A lot of games I have good a connection to the, to the server, but it feels like it fluctuates a lot. And that has always been my biggest gripe about skill-based matchmaking. If you're going to, you know, put players together based on skill, that is fine. Should it be in ranked? Yes, in my personal opinion. I think it should be ranked instead of just, you know, public matches. But if we're going to still do it in public matches, latency uh, should be the number one thing. As everyone always says, ping should be king, and it's definitely not when it comes to skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty, like I said, since about 2019. Before that, it did not seem that bad. Now it's definitely, it's pretty rough. And of course, I think that has to do with, you know, dropping the lobby every time you get out of a lobby. Uh, then it's going to find players again. Uh, you have maybe friends with you. They're probably getting screwed the entire time if they're not as good as you are or you're not as good as they are because they're going to be up against players that's in your skill level. Then you add bad connections on top of that, and it just makes it for a really, really bad experience. Now that Sledgehammer has been talking about, you know, still leaving lobbies together, not disbanding lobbies, I think that will help out a good bit with the skill-based matchmaking. Is it going to fix it completely? Definitely not. But will it be a better experience overall? I think so, because if you're in a dedicated, you know, Call of Duty server, um, and you stay in that lobby, you're going to continue to stay connected to that dedicated Call of Duty server. Where in past years, a long time ago, before you know we had crossplay, all that stuff, you would get a lot of peer servers or someone in the lobby would actually be the host, and those connections may not always be the best, but skill-based matchmaking, in my opinion, was not tuned up that high. Now we have these dedicated servers, but when you disband lobbies, it feels like from game to game, you're just really getting 
kind of varying experiences when it comes to you know the latency of that lobby really the search time of that lobby and even the skill in that lobby and it's overall it's just kind of a experience in my opinion that's i think finally almost catching up with call of duty because to begin with when they first talked about skill-based matchmaking you know in 2019 or people really started understanding what was going on they really didn't tell us exactly what was happening but people kind of understood that they're doing this for lower skilled players which is nothing wrong with that you know the people that are very casual that may only get to play once a week whatever the case could be and that's perfectly fine i think everyone that wants to play the game should be able to play the game uh but i think people realized when they started really ramping up the, the skill-based matchmaking probably in modern warfare 2019 where it seems to be the worst in my opinion and i think a lot of other longtime players opinions um it was really to sell the game. You know, a lot of people were saying, oh, a lot of newer players are not coming into the game. A lot of players that are not getting to play a lot aren't staying in the game because they're just getting pub stomped, you know, game after game. And that's not fun. And I do understand that. So when they started ramping up the skill-based matchmaking, a lot of players decided, you know, they just weren't going to play anymore. So Activision and Call of Duty's, all the different Call of Duty teams' idea was, well, let's put a skill-based system that will allow these players not to be forced to play, you know, people that are a lot better than them. And I do get that. And that's kind of always been a thing in Call of Duty. I, I don't even remember in Call of Duty 2 or COD 4, the original games, really seeing a lot of brand new players in my lobbies all the time. It was mainly a mix. And I think that's what it still needs to be. You have some really good skill players, you have some really bad skill players, and then you have some average players. And that's how lobbies used to be in Call of Duty. And it seemed like, latency was more important than any of the rest and, you know it went latency and then we'll kind of you know mix and match the player skill in this lobby and that's when call of duty seemed to play the best and that's not necessarily the case now and i'm kind of wondering if something has finally happened and i know a lot of people have talked about this a lot of content creators said eventually skill-based matchmaking is going to kind of catch up with itself it's going to run away the hardcore fan base. So the players like myself that have played since, you know, Call of Duty came out or players that have picked up the game since, let's say, the original Modern Warfare 3 and have played every year since then. I think by keeping a lot of the newer players in, they have ran a lot of the old school hardcore players that have spent money on the game every year, buy skins, buy this, buy that. Uh, I think they're running a lot of them out of the game because they're tired of the skill-based matchmaking. So they're really their only option over the last several years is to play either ranked, because I think, you know, rank should be a skill-based thing, and ranked has not been that good. It's got a lot of cheaters. A lot of people don't like doing that. Uh, a lot of people may not not like playing the, those, you know, game modes, or they go in and play Warzone. And Warzone even has a bit of skill-based matchmaking in it, as we know. So I think it's kind of a, a double-edged sword right now for Activision. They're wanting to keep and bring in new players, but they're also wanting to keep their longtime fans. And as a whole, skill-based matchmaking, the whole optimized matching system really worked to begin with, but I think now it's kind of catching up with them considering they're probably losing players that they were hoping that was they're not, they were not going to lose. And in my opinion, the only way that you really can solve this is going to be tuning the skill-based matchmaking back some, leaving those lobbies together, which is something else they're already talking about doing, and that will allow people to really enjoy the game more. It will allow people to play with friends more because a lot of people don't play with their friends as much as they used to because of skill-based matchmaking, kind of screwing up the lobbies and making it too difficult for some of your friends or yourself or whatever the case could be there. But overall, I don't really expect a lot from this right now. I think it still may be a while before we really see any changes. But I think if we can get, in Modern Warfare 3, a bit of a tone back to the skill-based matchmaking, just dial back a little bit and then get the option to not disband lobbies. And then that's something they carry forward to every Call of Duty game from now on. That's not something that they're going to keep, you know, just for Sledgehammer games, something they're going to do in every single COD game. I think that is a step in the right direction to getting skill-based matchmaking where it needs to be, where it's still in the game. And like I said, I understand why it is there. But getting it to a place to where it is, where it needs to be where latency works uh, as the main thing. So where every game you play is really based on connection more than it is anything else. And then from there, you go into search time. You go into skill. Um, 
And it's something that I think that really needs to be looked at. And if Sledgehammer can do those two things, and like I said, they keep them in every Call of Duty game going forward, I think they really can eventually get skill-based matchmaking in the right place. Because lately it's gotten really out of control, overboard, like I said, since about Modern Warfare 2019. And the issue has been, like I said, come season two or three, a lot of the longtime players are leaving the game, not playing anymore until the next COD comes out, or they've all just quit playing in general. And I'm not sure if Activision really anticipated when they added this system. They should have, but they probably did not. When they added this system that it was really going to run a lot of the player base off on either side of the spectrum, whether they be really good or really bad players. And overall, everybody just pretty much wants to play Call of Duty. That, that's the whole point. And if they can figure out a way to really optimize skill-based matchmaking to where it works correctly, and it's like those old-school lobbies, like I said, where you have really good skill players, you have some not-so-good skill players, and you have a lot of average players in the lobbies, I think that's where people kind of want this. I think people want it tuned back a bit. People want it to where you know their ping and their connection is going to matter. And I think they also want to be able to play with friends because it kind of sucks if you're someone that has a group of friends that you've played Call of Duty with for years and years like I have, pretty much have played with the same people uh, since Modern Warfare 2 or 3. You know, I played the first few COD games by myself, then after that I've played with the same group of people. And it's kind of, you know, it is kind of sucks that you can't play with your friends all the time when skill-based matchmaking over the years has really kind of hurt that experience because it makes it not enjoyable for anyone because of, you know, latency, connection, the matches just being absolutely ridiculous and you have to use everything that's like the best in the game to really be competitive in that game. And not everyone wants to do that. Everyone wants to have fun and enjoy their self playing Call of Duty. You might want to use different guns. You might want to you know, just run around with a knife, whatever the case could be. And that's hard to do when skill-based matchmaking is in the state that it is in right now. So hopefully by them saying, you know, we're going to get some more info in the coming weeks, we'll hear some more information from them probably after season one. But my overall experience with it is, I think they can fix it, and I think this isn't a step in. Uh, this is a step in the right direction, as long as this is not just one of those things where they're going to talk about it and never really change anything. If they're just going to talk about it, the community is not going to be happy. They're going to still be as upset, or probably more upset than they are now. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about skill-based matchmaking. Let me know what you think about what they have said, what I've said. Uh, you know, give me your opinion down in the comment section below, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.